part of this video was supposed to be us in New Orleans finally after being at this park for almost a week um, and like showing you around French Quarter and all of that fun stuff but that's not happening. We got an error message on the truck saying service diesel service exhaust something like exhaust that. Fluid. Exhaust fluid system. Uh, 99 miles to 65 mile per hour limit. We need to get it looked at because it's going to start limiting our speed down to 65 mile per hour here soon and then even further down till it's almost nothing. Change of plans, turned around, now heading to a GMC service area at 2.30 in the afternoon to see if we can figure out what's going on and whether we need to try to extend our stay at the RV park tomorrow. So yeah, we're going to be here for a little bit longer than we anticipated. This is the full experience of RVing, as my parents would say. And somebody's making celebratory margaritas. At least we figured it out. We have a plan. But today definitely deserves drinks, especially since we never got to New Orleans. Basically, on the way down to New Orleans, the truck went into pre-limp mode. There's an emissions process in 2012 and 2011, I believe, diesels, um, where things, it, it gets kind of finicky sometimes. And it'll think that things aren't right and it'll want you to replace parts. So the issue is gonna take a week, week and a half to resolve. So we're gonna stay here for a week or a week and a half. <laughs> and we're gonna get ourselves a rental car, so <clears throat> we probably will go down to New Orleans, after all. We'll probably still we just shoot don't videos. know when. Um, yeah, so we'll hopefully be doing stuff other than sitting in the Airstream for the next week and a week and a half. What this does mean is that we have had to cancel our Memphis trip, and our Memphis meetup, and our Chattanooga trip, and that meetup, and our time in Huntsville, which we didn't have a meetup scheduled there, but... Um, yeah. So yeah, we're just hoping at this point that we can get this resolved and we can get the truck working again to get to the RV Entrepreneur Summit, which we're supposed to be in like a little over a week and a half. So that's the main concern now, get this fixed because we couldn't even make it to Memphis. If this had happened yet tomorrow on the road, we would have been stuck somewhere in the middle um, going five miles per hour on the highway with the, with the Airstream. Yeah, actually that brings up attitude. When you have a good, I mean, this could have been, yes, it sucks. It really sucks. But this could have been so much worse. We're in a campsite we like. We're in an area that's actually pretty nice. I was able to get us a, a new reservation for the campsite across the street from where we currently are for all of next week. We so. have almost full hookups. Oh, we, we have to dump tomorrow when we move. Yeah. We have almost full hookups. It's going to be in the 70s next week, nice and warm. So this happened at the right time time if there was going to be a time yes it could yes. have been so much worse could you imagine driving down the highway with the airstream and all of a sudden it's like you have 75 miles before we start decreasing your speeds and you can't drive highway speeds anymore like that would have that's what happened that would have been really no that's would have what happened if no no if that, that, the that's what happened today yeah but yeah. i said could you imagine doing that while towing the airstream and now it's like okay we need to not only pull over we need to find some place to live for the next week <laughs> so. yeah that would have sucked times two yeah. but now it's only sucked like times one like it's it's not times i'm two. sad i don't get to meet all of you guys that we had set up the meetups for barbecue in memphis and the boathouse in chattanooga i was so excited yeah. next time we come through we're gonna have to hit those cities up but but that's what's going on we're gonna make some margaritas figure out what we're doing for dinner <sighs> my arm's tired we've moved tomorrow to our new spot yeah. in this campground and then just figure out what we're doing for the rest of the week until everything gets fixed and resolved basically so. when you live a life on the road these things happen and you just have to take it as it comes and well maybe make some margaritas that night this is going to be the easiest move we've ever made so for the next eight days and hopefully only eight days we'll be in that site right there so i've moved all of our stuff over so you can see the bikes and the chairs and stuff are there the electric stuff is there behind it so that is going to be one heck of an easy move boom all gone we're going to hit the dump station on the way out because this campground does not have sewer well, this isn't a full hookup campground in most sites, these included. So we're gonna hit the dump, then go over to that spot right there. And we're done. Moving day is done. There goes Steve. 
to dump and then he'll be right back there. Meanwhile, puppies are very confused. You've never seen your home go away, have you? Have you? Do you want to move over to your new spot? Want to do that? Okay, let's move over. There it goes. There are two dump stations at this park. There's one up here, which someone's actually at, we think. And there's one down in the quieter loop down there, which we highly recommend. I think those are the premium spots. So let's see which way Steve's gonna go to dump. Looks like down to the quieter area. Well, we've done it. We've moved today. We spent the 30 minutes it took to move spots. That included dumping. <laughs> and uh, we're good for the next eight or so days, so hopefully it won't be longer than that, but we'll see. I've been told I need to go to this cafe called Cafe de Mong, which is in New Orleans, but there's also now one here in Covington, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes away. So we're gonna go ahead and do that because we have a nice fuel, fuel efficient rental car that we can take anywhere we want. So we're gonna do that, show it to you, see if it's all that it's cracked up to be, beignets, coffee. Hmm, kind of excited, kind of excited. Oh, we're already making a mess in there. Man. They smell so good. This is frozen only that they let me try. I'm getting one of these to go. <laughs> this is fantastic. Like a chocolate smoothie kind of thing. Almost. Yep. Don't judge me. Are we home? We came home? Every time we come home. Meanwhile, look how this one got groomed. This is a very French cut. Yeah. Which is fine. She looks She's more like a short. poodle. She hasn't looked she hasn't had a face cut like that in a very long time, huh? She's very French for being in New Orleans. Very French. I'm not very sure French. she appreciates it, but I That's guess okay. she'll deal. <laughs> She's fine with it, especially since you brought home a beignet. That was out of sight. This is the hot coffee which I initially got, but then they let me try, because I'm a sucker their frozen coffee. It's like, well, guess who's getting your frozen coffee to go and heating up the hot coffee tomorrow morning for breakfast. There you go. I highly recommend that place. Yes. Steve's already said we may have to do the drive through at least one more time. The drive through We may have to go at least one more time. Yes. And they have a drive through which makes it easier. Yeah. Right next to a place where you can get your oil changed and not get out of your car. Welcome to the United States. <laughs> Life's hard, huh, Patty? Yeah. Yeah. We took a look at the forecast. We've just decided we're gonna go into New Orleans tomorrow instead of, instead of, instead of Sunday, because there's like an 80% chance of rain on Sunday, 20% tomorrow, so New Orleans in the next video. And this time for real, we hope. Yeah, if the if the check engine light comes on in the rental, I am I am raising something. I don't know. It's gonna be. See, Penny doesn't even like the suggestion that we're no. gonna have problems tomorrow. So I think we'll make it to New Orleans tomorrow, and we will take you along to our yes. first time in the city. That's right. Where there will be sure to be lots of fun photos, delicious food, and possibly a few fun beverages as well. Moral of the story in this video: things go wrong. Have a good attitude as much as you can. Be ready and, to roll with it. And, and be, be flexible. flexible. And things will, see, we're, we're both smiling. Things will work out. It will. So, that's it. That's it. All right. See you next time, Bye. guys.